Canadian auto workers have voted to accept a new three-year contract with automaker Ford, averting a strike of over 5,000 employees. CBC's Chris Ensing is outside the Ford plant in Windsor. Chris, what do we know about the new contract? Well, we know that Ford's calling it historic. Unifor is saying that this is life-changing. And a lot of that has to do with the numbers and the details that are inside of here with wages. Uh, by some estimates, 15% increase over the three years that this deal will last for. A big part of that, too, is eliminating the progression. So a new hire at a plant like the one behind me here, a production worker who's here to make a Ford engine, uh, will make about $30 an hour when they start. And within five years, that will be up to $42 an hour. That increase used to take eight years. So the union sees that as a big win. The other one is around pensions. They say that was their priority and that they wanted to make sure that the people who retired from Ford had something to see in this deal as well. And the other is the incentives that are here for the people who are working in Oakville. So when we talk about the people who work for Ford, there's about 5,600 employees most in Windsor and most in Oakville. Oakville is going to get retooled to build an electric vehicle. And when that happens, because of this contract, Unifor says that people who are put off work while that retooling happens will have better access and more access to unemployment insurance and a top up that will allow them to gain more wages, get paid more while they're off work waiting for that facility to come back online. This deal ratified. We don't know how much of the membership has voted in favor of it, just that this is being approved by the membership. Okay, so good development there for the workers, but we know that the workers with the United Auto Workers in the United States are still striking. How could that affect the Canadian plants? Yeah, it's been such a, a big part of what's occurring right here is these two events happening at the same time. In the United States, there's about more than 16,000 workers that are off right now. Three plants that build vehicles for Stellantis, for General Motors and Ford have been on strike from day one. We're in day 10 now. There are Canadian companies that supply those plants with parts. And we're told that if that strike continues, tomorrow plants in Canada will start to idle because there's no production happening in the United States. That's going to cause a bit of pain here. Uh, the big news about this Ford deal, though, is causing relief. I was talking to the head of Canada's Manufacturing and Exporting Industry Group who said that this deal is a big sigh of relief, that they wouldn't know what to do if they went into a strike situation at all of the plants. So they're also happy today, Natasha. CBC's Chris Ensing in Windsor, Ontario. Thank you, Chris.